Welcome to Spice Candies. Today I will discuss how I started making candies. Also, I'd like to apologize for the delay in the, in the movies because our computer crashed. So it had to be replaced and I had several issues with that. And now we're back on track and I'll try and push out some videos as soon as possible. Back to making candies. It was roughly roughly seven years ago my kid was in kindergarten, my elder son, and he gave me a lollipop. This lollipop, actually. And he told me, you know what, hold this and I'm going to talk with my friends. And I said, sure. Sat down on the wall next to the kindergarten and looked at the ingredients while he was talking to his friends. And I was quite shocked to see that the color ingredient was a chemical known as Ponsu. This thing from NZY Tech, for example, but other companies make it. And Plinsu, as far as I could recall, and I'm a biologist by trade, was not exactly an ideal chemical from what I remembered vaguely from my past using this chemical. And when you use chemicals in labs, you have to know their chemical structures, which you can see down over there. But you could also, and you have to actually also, read their material safety data sheet, or MSDS or SDS. If we, we look at uh, Sigma Aldrich's website, and you can see that this sa safety sheet, safety data sheet, SDS, is listed, and right now it's actually considered safe, non hazardous for consumption at certain quantities, obviously, higher quantities or high quantities by general, everything is toxic, even water. People have died for drinking too much water. So, right now, Ponsu S is considered safe to be used for food consumption at lower quantities. But at the time I didn't think of that. I thought it was not safe. So we switched. I gave him a candy he liked and uh, that didn't have any food colorings and that got me interested in candies. So as usual everything is on the internet today. I browsed and got to several interesting videos on how to make sugar glass for example you can see the links below for all the videos I state right now and then I got to look at how to make molds and bottle molds and sugar molds and this led me to my current interest in natural ingredients for candies another interesting source was the historic cookbook it lists and you can download and see many books that are really really predates us and their approaches to food and cooking and making candies and all sort of especially I like this one the confectioners pastry and baker book and it's dated 1864 so this actually led me to start all my candy making attempts trials I started with cinnamon as my first candy and I moved to an array of other candies ingredients making the right powders and using the right uh, herbs and it was a lot of fun so I wanted to also to thank you all because I really appreciate it being hooked my channel trying candies giving me sort of an intimate idea of how you think of candy making what was your experience I really love that I truly enjoy getting your comments and mails and requests and I'll try to complete all the requests as, as fast as possible I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching and have a sweet day.